Okay, so we've got our baby lamb, but we've got twins. First babies of the season. We're pretty excited, and so far they look pretty darn cute. <laughs> baby lamb! <laughs> Got it, girl. First, we feed the goaties. Okay, so we got all of our painted desert sheep in this pen. Mom and twins are over here. So we're just gonna lead the sheep out this gate into this paddock over here. As the ewes have their lambs, we will put them in there until we've got them all collected. It's just gonna be a mom and a baby party until we're just left with our ram and our weathers that we're gonna butcher here pretty soon. And then they're just gonna have just like a little man pen or something like that. So time's of the essence. Okay, pretty easy. I've got the, the vaccines for the babies and the moms. Uh, if we've got males in there, we're gonna band them. I mean, we're gonna castrate them with the rubber band and we'll be ready for them to be happy and healthy. Both lambs are standing, which is phenomenal. <laughs> um, one thing we love about a painted desert sheep is they birth easy. They're great mothers, and usually we don't have to intervene. Last year we had three lambs that had like a deformity in their front legs. It was like a neuro thing. We think that was a selenium deficiency. We think we fixed that this year by adding free choice minerals with selenium. And so hopefully we're just gonna have to keep tabs and see how healthy our lambs are throughout this whole lambing season. So you guys wanna go check it out. Lambing season. really really good they're both up and bright-eyed and they got that tail waggle that we like to see their umbilical cords are still wet so th this just happened this morning uh, we we didn't see them until we we're on our way to church and there's two little specks out in the field so AJ is getting the kiwi crook Alora is getting a little bit of grain um, we try to keep them we don't want to make them nervous. Oh, there's the kiwi crook. My name is Kate, by the way. Oh, did you go get it? No, AJ handed it. AJ, oh, okay. Oh, man, these guys are so cute. So one thing we learned from last year is don't wait ever. <laughs> Trimming, banding shots. We're gonna do it every single time we have a lambing so that we can keep it under control. Cause last year we did them all at the same time. It was a little bit of a chore and the hoofs were pretty tough. It was in the summer. So hopefully we're, we're getting this at the right time. Clipping, banding and all that stuff.
all trimmed up. We are making sure it's got some colostrum coming out and everything is intact. And she did, she did a great job. Hold the ad, don't let the babies down. Denise the girl. Denise. So this one's the girl? Yep, Denise. This one's the boy. And this one's the boy? Oh my gosh. This is the flashy boy. There's Dumpling. Denise and Dumpling. Look how cute she is. Oh, he's already growing more. Yeah. She says, I ate my baby's back. I know, Mama. She's We're gonna get them taken care of, and then you can have them back. Too. Come on, baby. Hey, Wait. You're okay, little one. The name is Dumpling. Dumpling. Yeah. Dumpling. You wanna hold him now? Oh, okay. You go ahead. Successful. First successful lambing. I'm hoping that all the rest will be good. Yeah, this is going to be a good year. It is. We gave them. <laughs> I'm not taking a picture. <laughs> I'm videoing. Alright, should we get them back to Mama? So pardon all the mess. These eucalyptus trees drop these branches all the time. And so in order to clean them up, we just leave them on the ground, put the sheep in here to eat all the eucalyptus leaves. And then I'll come back in here, trim all the sticks off. We'll have a bonfire and the bigger logs we will burn in our wood stove because eucalyptus burns really hot, really long. We really, really like it. One thing, if we can brag about our painted desert sheep, is it is wet and cold, and they are like as solid as ever. Um, we hardly get in the way with lambing season. I mean, we don't we don't pull very often. Um, we don't baby our sheep at all. <laughs> the only cover they get is these eucalyptus trees, and they do fine. They do they do fine. They're rock solid. These guys are hardy, hardy sheep, and that's why we have them on our farm. So we separated the other sheep over here, and as they lamb, we'll move them from this pen over to this pen where Anna and the two new lambs are, and then we'll just kind of separate them out. We don't preg check any of our sheep, so we just kind of will, like as the herd diminishes and comes over here, We'll just leave Gimli with whatever is left over. I, that might not sound very good, but that's the best way I can explain it. So, like I said, we don't have like a lot of like, we don't have lambing pens. We don't have a lot of infrastructure that we would like. Uh, maybe in the future we will, but for right now, this, we just kind of go with the flow. We have two nursery pens though. 
that we made specifically for them. I mean, this is a nursery pin, and then the other one's a nursery pin. Yeah, I mean, we have two smaller pins that we can, you know, kind of we keep the mamas keep and the them in. in there to keep them safe. And we haven't had any predator pressure or trouble with that, so oh. luckily. Yeah, we haven't had any losses to predators, which... I'm just, just checking out my cute baby lambs. They're just over there laying down. <laughs> How they're adorable. Right, guys if this is any indication of how this lambing season is going to go so far so good we're pretty stoked um, the other moms are going to be dropping lambs probably daily uh, so make sure you're checking us out on instagram and facebook and click that like button and the subscribe and the notification bell because we probably got another few lambing videos coming up so we'll keep you updated we're stoked we're getting better at this every year. <laughs> um, that hoof trimming and shots and neutering went the best that it's ever gone. I didn't yell one time. You were so good, high fives. Oh, I missed, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, you gotta smack it. Smack it. High five. High five it. High five. High five. It. Put your hand up. Hi. Turkey. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Listen, we're not perfect. We have tons of things to improve. Uh, but as we do this year in and year out, we do get a little bit better. So I just want to send you guys some encouragement. If you guys are dealing with sheep or goats, like it's a work in progress. Okay, guys, we're going to call it a day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> so... All right, that's the plan. I don't know where I'm gonna fit this in the video. We, just like our lambing, we wing our YouTubing, okay? We just do it and hope for the best. We hope that you guys like it. We hope you guys like us. And We don't wing everything. We wing I'm a planner. everything. You are a winger. I'm here, just playing in my pocket. Oh, I got in there. Needles? Hmm? <laughs> Vaccines? Let's go put that in the sharp <laughs> container. <laughs>